The Oddball, a parable about uniqueness by Sister Beth Ann. Well, it's almost recess, and Mrs. Johnson is getting out that familiar box. Here we go again. The basketball. He's always first, and he's the favorite next to the football. Bye, B-ball. Then comes Tetherball. He's really, he's really cool, multicolored, and brand new. Wow, everyone at school wants to hang with him. And then the Hawaiian kickball. He's so much fun. Aloha. And even good old squishy foam ball. He's dirty and scratched up. And he'll still get picked before me. Hmm. He gets to go outside. Nobody wants me around. I'm that strange little ball in the box. Yeah, I get looked at. But then they say I'm different and not like the others. So they put me back. I'm purple and pointy. I can't play basketball or tetherball or be a kickball. I'm just me, because I'm made that way. Even the pretty girls in class take a look at me. I get passed back and forth. They laugh at me as they pass me around, but in the end they'll say, I'm just too weird to play with. So later, dude. Back in the box. All the kids are at recess except Will. He's always the last one. Sometimes Will misses recess because of his math and reading stuff. But today, he comes over to the box and sees me. Will picks me up really gentle and looks at me really careful. Then he says that he can see something inside of me. Will can see it, but I can't. He tries to shake it out of me, and guess what happens? Will says, whoa, there's a light inside. I'm full of light. Wow. Then the other kids come in. Will calls him over. He says, look, <clears throat> the purple ball gets full of light. Watch. Will shakes me again. The other kids say, no way, that's neat. I'm neat? It lights up. Yep, I light up. Wow, I guess I'm not an oddball after all. I may not be like the others, but that's okay. I'm just me and special, just like you, Will. The end.